Hey, thanks for coming to the basement bar. What do you have? Just, just give me a tab. I can't give you a tab unless you order something. All right, well, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're gonna pay for it. Look, just give me something without sugar. Something without sugar. That'll be 10 cents. Hello there, welcome to the basement bar. And today we've saved you a seat and we're gonna give our take on a classic cocktail. You're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, today's task is to make a great old fashioned. And my co host, Chris Myers, who's usually with me, when we're out and about, he will often say, It's okay, I can go behind the bar. I have my bartender's license. It's true. I do have one. I don't have a bartender's license, but this is my bar, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to take Chris's recipe and see if we can't recreate his famous old fashioned. So let's look at the ingredients that we have today. And before we do that, we should say, with anything along these lines, make sure you enjoy responsibly. So we have Basil Hayden bourbon, uh, we have some bitters, uh, we have shaker glass, we have a couple garnishments here, we have an orange, uh, some cherries, and then uh, in place of simple syrup, we're gonna use some sugar cubes today. So let's dive into Chris's recipe. Uh, we're gonna take sugar cubes, and we're just gonna take one. And so we're gonna take a sugar cube, we're gonna throw this into our mixing glass, and we're gonna get things going here. Now, with the sugar cube, we're also gonna wanna put in three to five dashes of bitters. So one, two, three, we'll go four. We'll meet them in the middle. And we also need to add just a splash of bourbon uh, just to get the mix going. All right, so we got our sugar cubes in, we got our bitters, and we got a splash of bourbon. Now we're gonna muddle this together. I don't really have a fancy muddler, so I'm gonna use a wooden spoon and just kinda work my sugar and uh, get this nice and dissolved here within my solution to the best that I can anyways. We are gonna add some ice to the mix at this point, and we are also gonna add our bourbon. I have the very official Hallmark Home Mortgage shot glass here. So we'll get two of these in the mix. Okay, now Chris was very specific that I'm not James Bond, so I need to stir this as opposed to shaking it. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir here. And uh, also wanted to let you know, folks have heard that the basement bar is open, so we do expect a few guests uh, today. We're gonna now uh, strain this into an appropriate glass for an old fashioned, but you know we want an appropriate ice cube for our old fashioned as well. So we're gonna use a nice uh, ball of ice there, and we wanna kind of show off, give a little shout out. These are our friends at the Three Rivers Distilling Company. Uh, very cool glass, and they were they make far better old fashions than I do, by the way. Uh, but hey, we're doing what we can, right? So let's go ahead and give this a pour in. Now this would be the moment when Chris would have muddled some fruit, a little bit of orange, uh, a little bit of cherries in the mix, and that would be in the drink. I'm deviating a little bit. Uh, we are actually gonna char uh, an orange peel, kind of uh, garnish the drink with that, and add a cherry as well. All right, so one other stray from the recipe here, since we're all in quarantine, shelter in place, shelter at home, whatever you want to call it, we're gonna quarantine this drink, add a little smoky flavor to it. All right, that's our take on an old fashioned. We wanna thank Chris Myers for the recipe. Now, before we go, it looks like we have our first guest over at the bar, so, uh, hey, cowboy, welcome to the basement bar. Thank you. Howdy, partner. What can I get you to drink? I'd like one of them uh, sarsaparillas if you got it. Sarsaparilla. Uh, probably closest I got to that is gonna be root beer. Much obliged. Welcome to the basement bar. Looks like uh, 
somebody might have had a vacation canceled, right? Yeah. And you're probably off uh, out maybe thousands of dollars. Yeah. Well, this one's gonna be on the house, pal. Enjoy. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to make a great old fashioned. Leave a comment of some drinks that you'd like us to make in future episodes. We'll get master bartender Chris to help us out and do a little better job. Leave those in the comments below. As always, we're in this together. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.